Okay, so um, quick oxidation reduction review. Um, so basically all of photosynthesis and cellular respiration is just a bunch of oxidation reduction reactions. One, you always have to have both two, uh, with, you always have to have both of them happening because they're about electron transfer or electron shifting. Uh, now you may hear about oxidation reduction talked about in terms of oxygen, in terms of hydrogen or protons, um, but for our purposes right now, we're going to do it with uh, thinking about electrons because that's what's being um, moved around. And so I guess we can really say the whole thing of photosynthesis and cellular respiration and really um, fermentation as well is follow the electrons. So you're looking at the journey of the electrons from molecules to molecules. Okay, so um, we'll start with oxidation. So I do remember it by oil rig. You may know Leo says Gur. If you know that already, great. If not, then just go with me here. Okay, so oil rig. Oil is oxidation is the loss of electrons or electron density. So it's shifting electrons away from a molecule or an atom. Oxidation is the loss of electrons, electron density. And then reduction is the other process. Rig, reduction is the gain of electrons, electron density. Great. So let's just look at an example. Um, in the book, they give you one about I think sodium chloride, but that's not actually really relevant for biological processes. It's just a simple one. So just let's look at um, the oxidation of pyruvate. So that's one of our steps in cellular respiration. So pyruvate is a three carbon molecule. And in the oxidation of pyruvate step, it's converted into a one carbon CO2 and then a two carbon uh, acetyl CoA. And yes, you need to know these, but not for this exact purpose right here. This is uh, just a lot, uh, illustrating. Okay, so to get this breaking here of CO2 and acetyl CoA, basically a bond is broken. And a really important concept here is okay. And this is true for all of the, um, especially the cycles, Calvin cycle, citric acid cycle. Break a bond, extract electrons. Break a bond, extract electrons. Okay, so extracting electrons means that they're going to be transferred into another molecule. They can't just go out to nothingness. They've got to be put into something else. In the case of the oxidation of pyruvate, the molecule that the electrons are transferred into, so the electrons come out of the bond, you can think of it that way, we track two at a time, the NADH gains those two electrons and is turned into NAD, excuse me. The NAD plus gains the electrons and turns into NADH. So the way I think of it is, this is very conceptual, but the plus sign is like a, a cab, taxi cab, let's say. And if you don't know, taxi cabs, when they are empty, have uh, the light, well, I can't do that. All right, have the light on. So the light is on, it's the plus, it means it is uh, open for passengers. And if you think about the electrons as the passengers, they're gonna be picked up by the NAD plus, and then it ends up as NADH. Yes, there's an, a hydrogen picked up. Um, you can also think the plus, and then you get two minuses, and one more plus from the hydrogen in any case. So then that's how NADH doesn't have a charge. But in any case, the, the NAD plus is picks up the electrons and ends up as NADH. So what does that mean here for our purposes? Um, who is oxidized? 
try to write this down. Pyruvate is losing electrons, right? So pyruvate is oxidized, oxidized, or this process is oxidation. And then we have the reduction is the gain of electrons. So we'd say NAD plus is reduced to NADH. NAD plus is reduced to NADH because it gains electrons. And if you start paying attention, basically all of these reactions passing electrons around in photosynthesis and cellular respiration, electron transport chains, NAD+, NADP+, um, even in, in, in uh, fermentation with the, um, the conversion of the pyruvate into other molecules and the extraction of electrons and such and the, the dumping of electrons into the pyruvate, um, you can review that with fermentation, but it's all about oxidation reduction reactions. And these can be called redox. That's the oxidation reduction. So you'd want to understand that basic idea. Uh, also, the molecule starting is the thing that is oxidized or reduced. So you never have that on the end. Oh, and finally, um, you'll notice that ATP is let's see can I do this I don't know okay we'll leave it like that okay ATP the only thing that happens with ATP is phosphorylation right the phosphate groups get put on so there's no electrons no electrons moving around with the ATP all right so the answer will never be ATP <laughs> if I'm talking about redox okay ATP usually gets broken down into this and then built back up. But this is just all about phosphorylation here and dephosphorylation here. And so it has no redox. You see there's no, there's only phosphates being moved around, not, um, not any electrons. Okay, so that it's supposed to be a little I. Can't get the, <laughs> I can't get the thing to go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So anyway, um, that's my basic thing about redox.